Shamhala, which is a Sanskrit word meaning place of peace, or place of silence, is a mythical paradise spoken of in ancient texts, including the Kalachakra Tantra and the ancient scriptures of the Jiangsu culture, which predated Tibetan Buddhism in Western Tibet. According to legend, it is a land where only the pure of heart can live, a place where love and wisdom reigns and where people are immune to suffering, want, or old age. Shamhala is said to be the land of a thousand names. It has been called the Forbidden Land, the land of white waters, land of radiant spirits, land of living fire, land of the living gods and land of wonders. The Hindus call it Aryavartha, the land of the worthy ones, the Chinese know it as Shitian, the western paradise of Shiwang Mu, and to the Russian old believers, it is known as Belovoidi. But throughout Asia, it is best known by its Sanskrit name, Shamhala, Shambhala, or Shangri-La. The legend of Shamhala is said to date back thousands of years, and reference to the mythical land can be found in various ancient texts. The Bon scriptures speak of a closely related land called Amalum Ring. Hindu texts such as Vishnu Purana mention Shamhala as the birthplace of Kaki, the final incarnation of Vishnu who will usher in a new golden age. The Buddhist myth of Shamhala is an adaptation of the earlier Hindu myth. However, the text in which Shamhala is first discussed extensively is the Kala Chakra. The Kala Chakra refers to a complex and advanced esoteric teaching and practice in Tibetan Buddhism. Shakyamuni Buddha is said to have taught the Kala Chakra on request of King Suchandra of Shamhala. As with many concepts in the Kala Chakra, the idea of Shamhala is said to have outer, inner, and alternative meanings. The outer meaning understands Shamhala to exist as a physical place, although only individuals with the appropriate karma can reach it and experience it as such. The inner and alternative meanings refer to more subtle understandings of what Shamhala represents in terms of one's own body and mind, and during meditative practice. These two types of symbolic explanations are generally passed on orally from teacher to student. As the 14th Dalai Lama noted during the 1985 Kala Chakra initiation in Bodh Gaya, Shamhala is not an ordinary country. Although those with special affiliation may actually be able to go there through their karmic connection, nevertheless it is not a physical place that we can actually find. We can only say that it is a pure land, a pure land in the human realm. And unless one has the merit and the actual karmic association, one cannot actually arrive there. The Prophecy of Shamhala The concept of Shamhala plays an important role in Tibetan religious teachings, and has particular relevance in Tibetan mythology about the future. The Kala Chakra prophesies the gradual deterioration of mankind as the ideology of materialism spreads over the earth. When the barbarians who follow this ideology are united under an evil king and think there is nothing left to conquer, the mists will lift to reveal the snowy mountains of Shamhala. The barbarians will attack Shamhala with a huge army equipped with terrible weapons. Then the king of Shamhala will emerge from Shamhala with a huge army to vanquish dark forces and usher in a worldwide golden age. Though the Klachakra prophesies a future war, this appears in conflict with the vows of Buddhist teachings that prohibit violence. This has led some theologians to interpret the war symbolically the Klachakra is not advocating violence against people but rather refers to the inner battle of the religious practitioner against inner demonic tendencies. Shamhala's Hidden Location Over many centuries, numerous explorers and seekers of spiritual wisdom have embarked on expeditions and quests in search of the mythical paradise of Shamhala, and while many have claimed to have been there, no one has yet provided any evidence of its existence or been able to pinpoint its physical location on a map. However, most references place Shamhala in the mountainous regions of Eurasia. Ancient Jiangsu texts identify Shamhala with the Sutlej Valley in Punjab or Himachal Pradesh, India. Mongolians identify Shamhala with certain valleys of southern Siberia. In Altai folklore, Mount Beluka is believed to be the gateway to Shamhala. Modern Buddhist scholars seem to conclude that Shamhala is located in the higher reaches of the Himalayas in what is now called the Taladhar Mountains around Makliajanche. Some legends say that the entrance to Shamhala is hidden inside a remote, abandoned monastery in Tibet, and guarded by beings known as the Shamhala Guardians. For some, 
The fact that Shamhala has never been found has a very simple explanation. Many believe that Shamhala lies on the very edge of physical reality, as a bridge connecting this world to one beyond it. While many disregard Shamhala as the fanciful subject of myth and legend, for others, a belief in Shamhala stirs an inner yearning to one day find this utopian kingdom.